what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt sitting in the Infiniti QX50. By the way, when you've got QX before the numbers in the Infiniti lineup, it means SUV or a crossover. Because when you look at the lineup, it's not really easy to understand with all those numbers which car is which. So the QX50 is a nice luxury machine. But with the video today, we're going to talk about the minus and the plus point of this one. First of all, inside look at that how many colors do you see in the door how many colors do you see inside i think they tried too much and even my eye which is kind of good usually cannot tell you how many color there is in the door more than 10 that's for sure you've got some blue some brown some black some white some stitches and even right there in the door when you close it it's not even the same color and the same finish i think they tried too much they should have tried to be a little bit more conservative, but still, if it would have been a unique color inside, this would have not been so bad. Either way, look at also the two screen that we have inside. You know, Acura made this error a long time ago. They had an old multimedia system, but guess what? Infinity didn't learn from them. They tried to copy them. I don't know, but it's looking real bad. They should have done only one big tactile screen, easy to master, easy to use with some real cool color and high definition but instead they gave us two screen and the one on top is looking straight from the 1980s but i cannot believe someone approved that and said let's go for production so i would choose the real classy black interior without some excessive stuff inside so you've got a great engine in that QX50. You've got also a CVT, which is not that great though. It can simulate eight speed, but it's always trying to search and it doesn't give you predictable power. It doesn't react the same way. And even if you use the D mode into sports, into eco mode, it won't give me exactly what I want. When you try the acceleration, I don't know why, but sometimes I feel it was much faster in a mode that it shouldn't when I was accelerating back to pick up with traffic. And I don't have the fuel consumption that I would have wanted because it's a unique piece of technology that Infinity designed right there in the hood with a variable compression engine. So it's supposed to be great, but does it really show in fuel consumption? Well, if you go slowly around, maybe, but if you like sporty driving, it's gonna consume just like like the others in the segment lineup. The direction also kind of not communicative, won't give you a great feeling, even into sports mode, it won't give me the feedback that I like to have when I'm in a curve. And the final minus points is all about driving, but also being predictable. Power is not real predictable. Transmission is not real predictable, even if you put it into manual mode. And the cherry on the Sunday, whole wheel drive is not predictable. We did some diagonal testing, guys. I know you will be waiting for that. It was not constant at all. Sometime we would go over the hill with some snow, and there you go, boom, an indicator that it's overheating for the all wheel drive system. The next thing you know, we do a cool down lap, we get back on the hill, and we send it so hard and it's not even going to show any sign of overheating and it will do it. So it's not predictable, it's not constant. Other manufacturers used to be real constant there and can also receive a lot of punishing before it will show us any warning that it's going to give up whatsoever. What will happen with that new technology from Infinity? Will it be reliable? Will it be a nightmare for your car mechanics to repair your car in five years from now? That's going to have to be seen because the more you had components, remember, it's even harder to repair and it's less reliable over time. But let's talk about the plus points of that nice machine. You've got a great exterior design. Look at all the curves, the bumps on the hood, right there on the side, you can see the wave. So from a design, exterior is really looking cool, but you're kind of disappointed when you open the doors. The big logo up in front, the optional headlights that we have are gonna give you an awesome lighting in the dark, and that's what I like. Under the hood, this is the new VC engine of Infinity. It's a variable compression turbocharged 2.0 liter, which is gonna change also the displacement a little bit, so it can go from 
1971 cc's to 1997 cc's so you've got an actuator that's going to change the compression ratio from 14 to 8 for one so it's kind of impressive and the turbo is going to send 22 ps high of pressure right there in that engine it's going to give you great power though 268 at 5600 rpm and 280 pound feet of torque at 1600 rpm so once it's moving, it's reactive. When you floor it and you've got that great reaction, it's going to move around. The acceleration is kind of great for that little luxury vehicle. When you go in the rear, you've got a lot of space. You can move the seat, you can fold them if you want, you can move them forward to put more stuff in the trunk and you've got also a huge trunk. And look at those seats, are really comfortable. That's what I like with the Infinity seats. Soft, great length but also great support and when you're going to be doing a long road you don't get those little point of pressure when you spend a lot of time behind the wheels so really comfortable if you're looking for a comfortable vehicle and your first criteria is the seat well you're going to be served with those one and you've got also a good base price with that vehicle kind of affordable and usually infinity is reliable so in conclusion, it's a nice luxury machine, but the technology, all those unique stuff that the engineering spent so much time putting in that engine, it doesn't appear to the high. People will look at you and they won't even consider that. So I think Infinity deserve a lot more credit just for that nice and unique piece of technology. Otherwise, I want to know what you think, guys. Comment section is down there below. Don't forget to check the cards. Acceleration also in all the mode. You asked for it, you got it. And all will drive diagonal tests. You know, one of our favorite tests is also right there in the cards. Subscribe, go see that. But if you're gonna subscribe, press the bell also to make sure that you get all the notification when we're gonna release a new video. Otherwise, see you another time on another video of Car Question.